Nice hip turn. And he hits the club really, really high. Jack Nicholas, arguably the best ball striker of all time, does exactly the same thing. Even this just little punch on the seventh of Pebble Beach. Look how much his hips have turned and look how vertical he is with the golf club, swinging it really, really high. Now, I've had a chance uh, before the late Jim Flick passed away, he called Jack Nicholas to have a discussion uh, of, about this. And, and uh, Mr. Flick was always really surprised that the modern golf swing it is more about having a stable lower body. The hips don't turn as much with the young kids, uh, by and large, as they do with the older uh, guys that swung the club or the young guys uh, that swing in a more classic fashion. Mr. Flick expressed to me that uh, he, he was concerned about rhythm. If you don't move the hips and let the, the movement of the hips support the turn of the shoulders, th then you don't have a lot of elements for rhythm to make the golf swing look really, really smooth. I, I I would love to see more kids go back and look at the way Jack Nicklaus swung the golf club, uh, the fundamentals there, driven by a nice hip turn away from the golf ball. I'd love to see more kids go back and study that swing and uh, maybe have a look at it and uh, give it a shot because it worked pretty well for Mr. Nicklaus, uh, the greatest of all time, by the way. And we're